While Earth stands as a beacon for life, scientists have unearthed other worlds that might surpass it. These newly discovered planets present tantalizing possibilities for enhanced habitability, challenging the notion that Earth reigns supreme in fostering life. KY 5715.01 stands out as an exceptional contender in the quest for superhabitable planets, despite the daunting distances separating us from these tantalizing worlds. Most of these extraordinary candidates, including the frontrunner located a staggering 3,000 light-years away from our solar system, remain far beyond our reach for exploration or direct study. However, despite this astronomical distance, the allure of KOI 5715.01 lies in its potential to meet the fundamental prerequisites for supporting life. What sets KOI 5715.01 apart is its strategic placement within the habitable zone of its host star, commonly referred to as the Goldilocks zone. This zone offers a delicate balance, ensuring that conditions on the planet neither veer into extreme heat nor plunge into bitter cold, thereby fostering an environment conducive to the presence of a crucial life-sustaining component, liquid water. This vital ingredient, crucial for the evolution and sustenance of life as we understand it, could potentially exist on the surface of KOI 5715.01. Serving as a catalyst for diverse and thriving ecosystems. Moreover, delving deeper into the context of this exoplanet, KY 5715.01 emerges as a beacon of promise due to its placement within a planetary system that boasts an extraordinary age of 5.5 billion years. This chronological milestone positions this world approximately 1 billion years ahead of the evolutionary timeline of our own solar system. Such an extended period offers an expansive window for the potential emergence and evolution of life forms, potentially fostering a more intricate and diverse tapestry of life than what our planet has witnessed. Moreover, while this planet nearly aligns with the size criterion advocated by scientists in the search for superhabitable worlds, boasting a mass close to double that of Earth and approaching the desired 1.5 times mass threshold, its larger size presents both advantages and challenges. On one hand, this larger mass may aid in retaining heat, critical for maintaining stable surface temperatures conducive to life. Yet, it also poses the risk of overshooting the ideal conditions, possibly resulting in a colder environment compared to Earth. However, these apparent setbacks may not be insurmountable barriers. Despite indications of lower temperatures than Earth, the potential for a fortuitous atmospheric composition offers hope. A robust greenhouse effect if facilitated by specific gases in the atmosphere, could counterbalance the cooler temperatures. This atmospheric mechanism could effectively elevate temperatures to the desired levels for sustaining life, offering a tantalizing possibility for this super-Earth to become a haven for biodiversity. Kepler, 69c, approximately 2,700 light-years away, is Kepler, 69c. This super-Earth could be around 7 billion years old. This puts it perfectly in the estimated 5 to 8 billion year old age range for superhabitable planets. This range is based on the 3.5 billion years it took for complex life to appear on Earth. So the best chance for finding life could be on a planet a little older than us. Only this exoplanet could be a little too big to be superhabitable. It has a mass almost four times that of Earth. A rocky planet this big could have a single colossal continent that would have huge deserts in its center. But the coastline washed by Kepler's ocean could be your perfect spot to move to. Kepler, 1126b, our next super-Earth shares a similar name, Kepler, 1126b. Except it would be located ever so slightly closer to home. This planet is about 2,073 light-years away and belongs to a system that is 7.5 billion years old. It also orbits a yellow dwarf star much like our own. Only Kepler, 1126b is 2.5 times closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun. But that's no big deal. Because the star Kepler, 1126b orbits is cooler than ours. So the habitable zone would exist in a range much closer in proximity to it. If you aren't feeling this nearness to a scorching hot star, there's another super-Earth on our list. And it's at a reasonable distance from home. Speculus 2c emerges as an intriguing prospect despite its relatively closer proximity a mere 106 light-years away. Despite this, the distance remains insurmountable for any feasible human travel, requiring well over 200,000 years at the speed akin to NASA's fastest probe, the Parker Solar Probe. However, within this cosmic isolation, Speculus 2c presents a tapestry of possibilities that captivate scientific imaginations. 
This super-Earth, approximately 40% larger than our home planet, boasts dimensions that hint at a potentially hospitable environment. The tantalizing prospect of a rocky composition akin to Earth's adds to its allure, underlining the potential for familiar geology and perhaps analogous conditions to our own planet. Nestled within the habitable zone of its diminutive red dwarf star, merely 15% of the size of our Sun, Speculus 2c orbits at an exceptionally close distance. This intimate orbital path around its star suggests a potential scenario of tidal locking, a phenomenon where one face of the planet remains perpetually facing the star while the other dwells in eternal darkness. This unique circumstance results in a drastic division of between unending daylight and endless night, setting the stage for a potential zone of equilibrium called the Terminator Zone. The Terminator Zone, the thin strip delineating the demarcation between perpetual light and darkness, offers a realm of possibilities for life sustenance. Within this twilight region, where opposing extremes converge, conditions might prove conducive for life to thrive, drawing sustenance from the delicate equilibrium between light and darkness. The enigmatic nature of Speculus 2C beckons further scrutiny and exploration to unravel the mysteries veiled within its celestial dance. Lee's 667 cc emerges as a compelling candidate potentially superior to Earth and fostering life due to its strategic placement within its star's habitable zone. Orbiting its parent star, Gliese 667 c, this super-Earth presents a tantalizing prospect, situated at a distance that suggests the potential existence of liquid water, a fundamental ingredient for life as we understand it. While Earth-like in many aspects, Gliese 667 cc possesses distinct advantages. Despite being roughly 4.5 times the mass of Earth, its size implies the likelihood of a solid, rocky surface, a critical factor for supporting diverse ecosystems. Moreover, the planet's parent star, a red dwarf, offers a stable and relatively cooler energy source, potentially fostering a conducive environment for life to thrive. The habitable zone positioning ignites hope for stable temperatures and atmospheric conditions capable of supporting a myriad of life forms. While much remains speculative and the need for further exploration persists, Glee 667 cc stands as a beacon of possibility, challenging our perception of Earth's unparalleled suitability for life and offering a tantalizing glimpse into the diversity of potentially habitable worlds scattered throughout the cosmos. As our scientific instruments advance and our understanding grows, a deeper investigation into this super-Earth holds the promise of unraveling the secrets of habitability within the nuanced interplay of its distinctive environmental factors, potentially providing insights into the diverse possibilities for life beyond our familiar cosmic boundaries. Thanks for watching everyone. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe. See you in the next video.